Hey guys, it's Mike for us with Spirit Music Meetups. I haven't done one of these videos for a while. I've been doing drum videos, but this is not a drum video. It's prophetic, anointed, prophetic, spontaneous drumming. And I'm making an appeal to you all because I have been looking for a while and I've only met maybe two or three musicians here in Tucson, Arizona that even know what I'm talking about when I say anointed, prophetic, and spontaneous drumming or music. And that's where God just takes over. You're not in control. You're relinquishing control. And what comes out is his mind, his thoughts through music. And he can convert that into whatever he wants to say inside people. That's his business. Just like speaking in tongues, you don't understand. Paul says it's unintelligible unless you also get a gift from the Holy Spirit to interpret it. But you need not because the Holy Spirit is praying, praying perfect prayer, perfect praise to build up your most holy faith, right? And it, Jude talks about that, Jude verse 20 of chapter 1. So God's changing this and in the music and going into people's hearts and doing his own communication. That's called rhema word. And then it's spontaneous because I'm not creating this ahead of time. I'm not pre-composing it. And the, the Holy Spirit's not pre-composing it. Now, once I've done it in the spontaneous, it's, it's composed. So if you hear it again and you play it again, whatever it is, then it is not spontaneous. But it is done by yourself or by the Holy Spirit ahead of time. So I'm going for anointed, prophetic, spontaneous music. Where I am totally out, I'm a vessel. He just uses me, right? That's what I want. And I'm trying to find musicians in Tucson, Arizona. And I created a meetups page and a letter on the bottom of that page to appeal to musicians all through Tucson, Arizona. And actually, so you would do this in your own city. But I would love to meet some of them so we could do this together. We can learn how to do this together. So if you're interested, go read the link down below on the meetups page. The letter that I'm sent out, and I'm, I'm putting this in people's uh, churches' doors, and but not once called me back. Lord, I'm just believing that there are musicians out there that want you to control them. They're done with control, control. They, they're done with being a control freak. That they can trust you. That they've come to the point where they can trust you to create in them and through them to others. You know, if you read 1 Corinthians 12, it talks about how the gifts of the Spirit works. And their Greek words are much more specific than English. And it really talks about gifts given to you, right? So they're given to me personally. And then there's this this word that has to do with working or operations through you. So that's the next thing. The, the Holy Spirit work gives you gifts, and then he wants to work through you, and that's a gift of the Holy Spirit, through you. So that's like service and ministry through you to others, to bless others, to help others, to reach others. And then the third thing is to effectually effectively however you want to say it uh and energetically it's a it's a greek word meaning energetically and effectively working in them so you see how it goes the gifts are meant to go into us not to just for our own personal pleasure but they go into us to help us with our walk there's a lot of gifts that are just really helping us with our faith, building yourself up in the most holy faith. Okay, that's what Jude 20 talks about. Paul talks about, therefore I will sing and I will pray both with my mind, the mind of me, 
intelligible words, but I will also pray and sing in tongues. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 14 and 15. And that is letting go and letting God. Letting God speak. That's really letting God speak. His language, where your mind is unfruitful, it's unproductive, it's not creating words you understand. The Holy Spirit prays or sings His message to God to work for you, right? To work in you, to work for you. But it doesn't just go there. It goes through you to reach others. It goes through you to reach others. To reach others and then to effectively, energetically work in them. So you become a vessel. If you're interested in learning how to do that together, I have started the conversation out on so many web pages. And some people are interacting. Interact on the bottom of this video. But I would love to meet you personally. So respond to this video. Go to the meetups page and reach out to me so we can do this. Now, I, the Lord told me uh, you can't ask people to do something that you are not flowing in yourself. Not, not, it's more than just knowing about it. I got all these pages out there about it, and God keeps teaching me more and more. He is our one teacher, Matthew 23, verse 8. One teacher Okay, 1 John 2, 20, 27. One teacher, the Holy Spirit. And if you're willing to learn how to listen, right, and then let it flow through you to others. I put a lot of ideas that God showed me already. It's just to start the conversation. I'm hoping that you've learned how to do this. And we can learn to do this together. Actually combine them, right? And do them out in the parks, out on the highways and the byways to send that out, to send that out. And I have some examples of prophetic declarations. Go look at that. Um, I'll try to put a link here on how that works. And I'm going to run out of battery here. I don't know how much battery I have left. I don't know if I can even slide it down. Let's see if it, it does that. Well, it says I have 8%, so I really have about 5%. So I'm going to do a little bit before it goes blank on me. So, Lord, I surrender to you right now because I am not sufficient. My abilities are not enough. And so I trust what you've shown me is surround me by your holy angels, messengers to do the service of the saints, to serve the saints that you would send this short message out into the park, that you would amplify it, you showed me that, that you would amplify that message, and that you would convert that message, your rhema word, through what you're going to do in me right now. That you're going to send that out into the park, and that it would be converted, and it would go into others, and that it would do your work effectively, energetically, inside of them into all these homes right now this is beyond my flesh my flesh can't touch all these people and music by itself does not touch all these people but i'm believing right now by faith so much of the christian life is by faith so i believe lord that you're going to do this in their lives right now it's going to go right through their walls like microwaves like radio waves, it goes right through their walls, and it go right inside their heart, and that you will do your work in them right now, in the name of Jesus, not just these walls. You gave me faith once, I'll take that faith, that it goes out into this entire community, into this city of Tucson, Arizona, out of the city of Tucson, I have faith, it's going to go into the state, and wow, I'm breathless. I have faith that it's going to go out of the state into the United States. We need it. We need your rhema word in our life. We need your salvation that comes from your word. Your rhema word. Not printed word. Not something 2,000 years ago. Your freshly spoken utterance. That's what rhema means, I know. And so... 
I believe that in the name of Jesus. And so I'm going to do something that I'm just trusting you right now. Not thinking. Not thinking what to play. Just letting go and letting God. It has nothing to do with skill, Lord, I know. It has to do with letting go of my skill, getting out of the way, surrendering, offering my body as a living sacrifice for you to flow. So I keep my eyes on you. not about sounding good or sounding bad it's not about my technique it's about taking what God has already given me and offering it <sighs> thank you Lord I'll do some more of this Lord do some more of this but not now this is this is enough to send out your word into this community. Thy will be done. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. You said your truth will come like an avalanche that will shake the earth. You told me that in January 21. After chaos in the elections. Chaos. But your truth is coming like an avalanche. That will shake the earth. Praise the Lord that your word never comes back void. Your rhema word, it says, never comes back void. So that's freshly spoken, freshly heard right now. 